Greetings friends, it's me Wayman, and here it is, it's like 8.39 in the morning, the next day. Um, I wanted to show you the result of the weed burner firing that I had rigged up that you've seen in my previous video. So, I already pulled the pots out of here, and I'll show them to you, but a lot of carbon in here, so I need to regulate how much gas is going in the kiln. It's too much gas. And uh, that right there is a cone 05. And it's melted way down. So I definitely hit an 04. Maybe a little bit higher, but that's okay. I'll just put the glaze on a little bit thicker. But um, so this is a four inch hole in here that I cut. I put it up on cinder blocks so I could slide a conversion kit burner underneath if I needed to, and also fit uh, the weed burner. So now, now we'll go take a look at what pots came out of that little kiln. And uh, so the white ones are the ones that came out of the Teacher Plus weed burner firing. And uh, these are all shea bowls here. And, and you can see they are a little bit whiter so they hit a higher temp and um, not bad I'll just thicken up the glaze a little bit when these go on um, turned out kind of nice still need to do a little bit of cleanup and I see the difference in color now that big one um, these are shade mugs here the big one that I said that was under temp yesterday uh, fired under temp again um, so what I'll need to do is drop the weed burner underneath the large one and get a bisque firing out of that and then try a glaze. So all this takes forever. Um, I had these shave mugs started way back and uh, running tests and all this kind of stuff to get these things fired out because I got the big kiln. I got the big kiln and uh, I kind of really want to use it. And everything slowed right down because I, I I had to test everything out because each kiln fires a little bit differently. And I was getting nailed for overtime and stuff at work, my other job. And uh, <clears throat> so I didn't get back to it, but I had vacation. So I was really excited about getting back to it. But um, here's some bowls I'm trying to finish up here. So these are, you can see the difference here. Um, these came in the temp. This is under a bit. So, I'll have to refire those. I could, I could get that done tomorrow. So you have it. Um, the weed burner worked great. Um, I just need to regulate uh, how much gas is uh, getting in the kiln. So, take care of friends. And uh, I plan to do a firing in this. Probably a glaze firing. Um, these updraft kilns are a cone off as you go up so center I put in a six because my glazes uh, can go from cone five to seven six in the center seven on the bottom and then cone five on top so I try to cut it off right here um, then put in my baffle tile. But, uh, so that's my little Amico updraft. So, I still need to find out how this large one fires this, uh, Duncan kiln. So, all these will need to be covered up. It's supposed to rain today, so I'm, I'm looking at trying to get a, uh, trying to get a metal building up. Can't build a kiln building out of wood because uh, everything dries out and it ends up burning down, right? In case if you have an accident. But uh, there you have it. So uh, if, if you've fired with a weed burner, uh, let me know. Um, Simon Leach out in uh, Pennsylvania near State College um, gave me the idea. Love watching his videos. But have a great day, folks, and uh, happy shaving.